fun. Um, my name is Sophie, and I'm the CEO and founder of Zesto, and we are a gesture recognition company. So um, does anyone here like science fiction? Put up your hands. Whoa. <laughs> oh my god, that's so many people. Okay, great. Uh, do you guys, have everyone seen Minority Report? Oh, I have also. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> um, so essentially, we let those uh, touchless interfaces happen. We're a gesture recognition company, and we let content creators and developers essentially create touchless applications very easily. Um, so if we can go back to the screen, I'll show you what we do. Uh, so this is the platform for gestures. You go online. you go over here. Uh, here are a few gestures that I pre-recorded. It honestly takes like 30 seconds. I'll show you in a second. Um, you, to create a gesture, you put, I'm going to call it push. Okay. There we go. I named my gesture. And this is a leap motion, which is a depth sensing camera. But we're soon going to be device agnostic. So we can do uh, iPhone 10, Samsung phones, uh, Intel RealSense, essentially anything that you would want. I'm going to record a gesture. No, push. So I do this 10 times, and what that will do is uh, it'll train a machine learning model to recognize that gesture. And then I'll be able to put that into an application with an API. I don't have an application with me right now, um, but I'll leave it to you guys to build one. Okay. What are you pointing at? Okay, so I just do a few more. Push. Okay, one last one. And there we go. Now it is training the gesture. Um, and there we go, training successful. So now if I perform the push, it recognizes the push. Um, swipe right, that's a right. This is a left. Uh, what else do I have here? I have an up, then I have a down. So I could put that in, into an application and have that trigger whatever you want it to trigger. Um, so think of augmented reality, virtual reality, uh, healthcare applications, auto applications, like a touchless dashboard. You can do all of that with uh, our application. And yeah, that's it. Questions. Hi, my name is Zeze. I wanted to ask, uh, you mentioned it's um, platform agnostic, but you mean platforms with accelerometers, right? So right now we're doing with depth sensors. Um, so depth like sensors. the iPhone 10 has, um, on the front it has the IR sensors and depth sensors, and the back has dual. Yeah. And you can sign up for our beta online, which I recommend you guys all do. Where is that? It is at zesto, X-E-S-T-O dot I-O. I work in a factory. I have leather gloves usually covered with uh, grease. This would be great for stopping and starting audiobooks, all sorts of stuff. Will this work with PPE, personal protective gear, or do you have to have bare, clean hands in order to use the interface? It should work with any protective gear you have on. All you have to do is train it with uh, the gear on, so it'll recognize like that size of a hand. You have just made my life so much easier. <laughs> right. So for the beta that you told us to sign up for, does it work with like phones like Samsung and iPhone yet, or no? Are you guys still in development? So we're still in development with the iPhone and the Samsung, um, but beta for Leap Motion, so you can do anything in virtual reality and whatever you want. Hi, um, do you have a patent or a patent pending? We do have patents pending. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> 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 
So have investors asked you that question? <laughs> one more question. There was one over there. So with uh, Oculus and Vive, have you guys reached out to them or started programming anything with them specifically to maybe uh, augmented reality, even HoloLens, Google, same things like that? Would that work? So like Vive is actually introducing depth sensors into the front of their uh, Pro, so the Vive Pro that's coming out relatively soon, I think. Uh, so oh. we'll be working quite closely with the Vive to do that. Um, Oculus, we're not doing the hand holder, the controllers, um, but the leap motions that you can attach. So yes, the answer is yes. Okay, cool. Thanks.